Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Chips Challenge 2, Golden Receiver, and today we are in the Construction Zone by Joshua Bone. The Bone Man has made a zone, man. So, let's see, this is, a, this is clearly a fake, so we've got lots of blocks here to work with. Lots indeed. How, how do we want to go about this? We have, okay, we have a finite number of blocks to do the job. I think we may be a... No, you can't push through there, that's... That's interesting. That's not a development I would have expected, I don't think. I think, well, your body can get through it, so why can't a block? That's a little unusual, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and take this, I guess. Let's start this way for now. This could be another clueless in the making, but let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, we can't do that either. Uh, we have to... Okay, we have to actually put ice down or something. Uh... Is, does one of these have flippers under it? Uh, let's just check so far. Nope, nothing, nothing untoward under any of these. Um, so how do I get Mr. Mr. Blue Sky here? Oh boy, we are, okay, yeah. There's not much to this level, I don't think, but what there is is already pretty daunting. Let's go ahead and maybe if we do it in... Uh, well, okay, hold on. We gotta push these around first, I think. We gotta, we gotta manipulate these into it. Maybe if I go ahead and, uh, okay, maybe if I go ahead and save this one, if I do this one, I forget, can I push the ice block over it, or is that a falsehood? Is that another falsehood waiting to happen? Oh yeah, okay, so there we go. I've got my, I've got my red key. Okay, so what happens now? Now I need to be ch... Does it matter that... It yeah, it matters that I need to be chipped because I have to... Okay. Alright, so I can go through here. I can push this here, I think. And then... Okay. And then I push this up here, and that gets it in a position. Okay, I see. I got it. Not too hard. Just gotta make sure... Okay. Will I need to... Will I need to change back to Melinda, though? A question for the ages, truly. Always, always the question on the minds of the youth today. Do I need to change back into Melinda, or do I need to change... Do I need to be a Melinda, or do I need to be a Chip? And really, I don't know. Follow your bliss, I say. Let's get this around. This is some... This is some fun block-pushing times. This is what the kids are here to see. Block pushing action at its finest. Oh, yes, we are reaching a corridor. There we go. Uh, why am I hesitating? I can just do it the same way I've done it since time immemorial. Let's go ahead and, yeah, get it done. Yes, we have made progress. Another, another wing of the hospital is complete, so now I just need to get those four in there. Okay, so that's not... That, well, hold up, hold on, hold on. How do we get them out from against the wall? That's a, uh, that's a, well, we don't get them out. We don't go up through there at all. We just push them down, uh, such like as this way as the Iraq. So, okay, yeah. Oh, and this time it's even easier because we can just, okay, all right. As long as you don't do a dumb thing like push them through the force war. Who would do that? <laughs> Certainly not me. That doesn't sound like anything I've ever done. I'm excellent at puzzles. I can do puzzles. I'm excellent at puzzles. I'm not wearing any underwear. Let's go through here. Yep, yep, yep. Just a pretty standard hallway push. This one is not... As long as there's not something goofy sprung on us at the end, this is not going to be too bad a level. But I feel like there's still a fair bit more to it. Let's see what happens when we go through here. What, what, needs, to be the, what needs to be the speed now? Okay, well, this is pretty, this is probably pretty simple. Okay, all right, let's get this going. Let's get these through here first that are against the wall. It'll be much easier to push these through. Hopefully there's not some kind of trick awaiting me at the end. I could easily see if there's a trick awaiting me at the end. Uh, being as I could go be Melinda and scout ahead by walking on the ice, but I think I'm just gonna trust it for now. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem terribly fanciful. 
Yeah, that's the problem. I can't see ahead to what I'm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna chicken out and I'm gonna I'm gonna go see ahead about what's going on here. She can walk on the ice. She can check it out. Yeah, there's nothing to it. There's nothing actually special about it at all. You just keep pushing blocks down. Pushing blocks. That's that's the American way. You just keep pushing. You just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you're dead. Uh, so Okay, so now is the teamwork part. You go... Okay, let's see. Probably would be best to do this last part. Well, no. You gotta do at least some of it as... Uh... Well, no, you have to figure out a way to do all of it as Melinda. Oh, great. So, some of this... Okay. So, alright. I think what we want to do, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. So, what we want to do... Okay, this is going to be the tough part right here. But I think what we want to do is... Uh, uh oh, time is running out and now I'm on the hard part. Oh god, why? Uh, okay. So you have to clear out, you have to give yourself enough space to push blocks up through here. So I think we're gonna have to use two of these ice blocks. Probably down. Okay, I think I may have it. Okay, let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and push these down here so that I can actually walk on these. This is gonna require being Melinda, so let's just stay as her. The problem is, do I have enough time to do it? Uh, okay, so... Um... I think I'm gonna need one more ice block from over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and... take it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna run out of time! I feel it! I can feel it in me bones! Uh, so yeah, I want to push a block over onto here now. And then I can use this to do that. Okay, and then, no, I think I may have screwed up. I think I may have used too many of my ice blocks. Uh, well, m maybe not, maybe not. Uh, because, yeah, you go through here. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of time, but I think I may... Bummer. Oh, no, why did I do that? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, you have to be Melinda for this part because you can't get in here as Chip. But, yeah, there's going to be a way to push these blocks around that allows you to get up to the exit. Okay, so we have to do this part as Melinda because Chip doesn't have the fancy footwork to just turn corners on ice. So what we have to do is create, I think, probably, we have to maximize our our dirt blocks. We have to maximize all our blocks, really. So we have to make kind of, I think, probably like a staggered pattern here. Where we kind of get them, where they kind of alternate so that we can push, we can push along one way. Okay, and then I think we want another ice block, I th think. If I have this sorted out right in me brain. So let's go ahead and get that over there. And then this goes here. Okay. So now what we do with this, I th three and three, and we have six, yeah. So what we do, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, go here, push this up here. So now we use an ice block to go over that lovely dirt pad that we can't tromp down without hiking boots. There we go. All right, and we just keep doing that. We just keep doing that pattern. There we go, all right. And then we use this one. You come here. All right, there we go. This is working like a charm. There we go. And then just one more. And then the last ice block should get us to that lovely little force floor, which will C5 us straight to the exit. There we go. All right. All in a day's work for the construction zone. Excellent work. Very good. Let's see. That's another good case for putting midpoints in these levels, though. They, they give you the nice little easy stuff at the beginning, and then they leave it to you to figure out all the hard crap at the end, and then you mess it up, and you have to go do it all back over again. Like, throw some checkpoints in there, right? Come on, that's, that's not so hard a thing to do. Rethink 2 by John... Oh, we've already got a sequel to Rethink. Okay, Joshua Bone seems to be pulling all the weight these days. 
let's uh let's find out what uh what we got going here okay all right so that guy is stuck in there for now so i'm gonna go ahead and get myself oh. killed by not okay so all right so we go in here probably good to get the fire boots first so that we can then get the key all right uh do we then need to okay i don't think there's any he's just there for fun okay so oh boy we're gonna have to have someone else do this work maybe um all right we've got the we've also got fire boots we got now we got fire boots and a bowling ball and we got this maybe i should have gotten this first i don't know who could say no i didn't want to do that well maybe i did actually uh <laughs> okay well um no i think i wanted to push it up i'm gonna go ahead and restart because i think i may have wanted to push it up no 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 Bummer. no 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 i knew that was gonna end in doom the moment i did it so uh yeah that's a little that's a little bit of a dicey part right there okay so what i want to do what i want to do is grab these first clearly I'm gonna need those ice boots there's no thief to take them away from me but i think what i can do uh, I think I may need the bowling ball to clear out this bomb. Because what I need to do now... I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's what I need it for. Uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clear that out. And then I'm gonna push this up here. Is there an invisible one under this one? There is. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so... <laughs> What do I do then? Can't go in the water. I have flippers. And I need to... I don't have flippers, rather. I need to get these into here. Can I even push those into there? There's a... Well, no. Those are those are red herrings. I need to get something going here. Um, I think I may have... I think I may need both of these blocks. And I think I may have wasted them somehow. Because I think I need to push this up into here right and then push it over I may only need one of these but yeah I need to I need this to sit on that somehow whoa yeah yeah there's there's lots I'm gonna be rethinking here probably okay it looks like we need to use the bowling ball to shut this on and off so that we can we can like exit and then go around and then it bumps again and then and the leaves but i think what we need to do first then is we need to destroy we need to get this we, okay let's try to get all right let's try to get the ice up in there first can't do that without destroying the bomb. So we need to do something. We can't use the bowling ball to destroy the bomb because we need it to turn off the switch for us. So we need to use something else to destroy the bomb, like maybe the fireball. Is that possible to do? Can you leave something in its way? Like, okay, and make it change paths let's find out okay so we're gonna go down in here i'm gonna grab these things and then i want to probably okay, i'm gonna try dropping not the bowling ball but whatever i've just okay i've got my fire boots in that slot no that's not that didn't do what i wanted okay do that okay yes he does okay all right okay that works okay that's an interesting that's an interesting point you make there. So let's go ahead then and now we should have all the maneuverability we need to get those up into there. Okay, so yeah, we push this over here and then up and this goes right here. Then, okay, same deal here. All right. Seeing, I'm seeing now. I see, said the blind man. Very good, very nice. Okay, and then we just kind of we just kind of use it to bump along its merry way here, I think. Which way do we want to go first? I think we probably want to drop it from here, and then it'll go... 
Yeah, there we go. It destroyed itself, but we're exit bound. There we go. All right. Nice little single screener. That's interesting that you can use the fire boots. They can use a dropped item to change the course of the fireball like that. It's okay. All right. All right. All right. That's that's certainly a deal. Rebel by Joshua Bone. Boy, he is man. We're just seeing bones everywhere. This is a freaking practically archaeological dig right here. Okay, so we have flippers. That's a good start. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Bummer. No way. We can just... We can just do this? Bummer. No, I didn't think so, but like... Okay, yeah, we can get the flippers. We have room to do that, but I don't think we have room to... Bummer. I don't think we have room to get in that little frame-perfect spot right there, unless we do. Uh, that might be, that might prove an interesting challenge, but I'm going to try it at least a few times. Bummer. I don't think it's going to let me. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to take too easy a path to, to victory here. Bummer. I'm being punished for my hubris over and over with, uh, with infinite bummers. Okay, so I've only got one tank, or one chip to get, rather. Did that do a lick of anything? It surely did not. And the only thing I can do here would lead both chips, tanks, to disaster. So I need to go find a chip somewhere. Oh, I have flippers, though. There's my chip. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. All right. So, well, no, that didn't do quite what I wanted it to do, probably. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to get a tank down onto that one. So... I think this is the one I need to... Unless I need to get them both... Unless I need to manipulate them both so that they both survive. In which case, how would I do that? I think that might be the idea here. But there's my chip. That's easy enough to get. Now we still have 300 some odd seconds of a level to go through. That's That presents a problem. So... Is this the one that matters down here? Is it just one that matters? And then I hit this. No, they both have to be... They both have to be hitting it. Uh... Alright, so how am I gonna do that? Once... Okay, if I hit right... Yeah, they just kind of do that. Okay, I have to figure out how to make them... Figure, I have to figure out how to make them do what I want them to do. Um... Is removing both these a mistake? Could be. Uh, how about if I just hang on to it? No. That's not going to allow me through. In fact, nothing is going to allow me through. I need to... What am I, what am I doing here? Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, I need to get both of them pressed. I need to get something holding on to both of them. Which, how do I manipulate the tank into doing that? If it goes up, dies. This one goes up, it dies. If I push up, this one dies. If I push down, this one dies. If I push left, this one dies. And if I push right, they're both fine. Oh gosh, what a sticky situation. How, how do I get them both to do what I want? This is a mechanic I will never get used to as long as I live. Doing things like this. Every time I can feel like in my bones that every time I do something involving having to put the tool down on the bad on the space that would kill me otherwise, I'm just going to have to look it up. My brain will never think that way. So what do I do here? It's coming for me. It's coming for me. I can use a block to destroy this maybe okay all right so Bummer. yeah that okay yep figuring out rooms one at a time this is this is the kind of potpourri we like doing but now how do i now do, how do i make my way around okay how do i make my way around baron von roomba here okay okay it's going it's going in directions Bummer. and i did not see the fourth floor for some reason because probably because i'm an idiot that's okay though everybody everybody has their everybody has their moments it's just that mine come at extremely regular intervals okay uh left first no down first oh my see the, the moments the moments they are they are coming over and over and over and over they just can't stop won't stop uh do i get boots out of this 
I do! I get force boots out of it! Yay! Okay, so now... Now I just have to figure out... Okay, it's doing... Okay, it's humming along weird. Why are you... Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, you big silly... Oh, come on! Why are you... Why are you making my life difficult? Hey! Actually, you made my life a lot easier. That's... That's cool. I didn't expect that. So now we just go get the blue key. And... Do I have a way to get this bomb? Okay, um... Well, that's certainly problematic. The moment I open that... Bummer. Yep, pop, boom. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this level is gonna give me conniptions. Alright, let's pick these up. They may prove useful again later. So, yeah, because I'm gonna have to get down through the water down there. But I cannot release the ant myself without incurring pain. So I think I have to get uh, the Roomba vac here to do everything for me. So I think what I need to do, first of all, I need to get, yes, I need to get those space boots. And I need to get this going. Let's make ourselves a nice little hidey hole so that the vacuum can't get us. Okay, it seems to want to be bummer. Seems to want to be going toward me for some reason. It wants to. It, it liked the smell of me and it wanted to. It wanted to eat me that time. But what I want to do, I think, is drop these first. Okay, I'm getting used to this little bit of shenanigans by now. Okay, there we go. Get that. And then, okay, what we want to do is we want to put these in a place where. He can, uh, snack on him. Okay, alright. So, now he eats those. Now we have to, like, maneuver him to going and getting the key. I don't... How are we gonna do that? He's kind of stuck. Okay, there he goes. Alright, come here. Come here. Come here, you. Alright. He's coming in a direction. I... He... I appreciate what he's doing here. Okay, yes. Eats the key. So what now? We get we get this happening so that uh, well he can't destroy that himself, can he? How do I? So I need to push this. Do I need to? I can't get on the other side of this block. I don't think to push it down into the into the thing. Can I? Because if he destroys that. Wait, have I done something wrong here? Okay, I think I'm gonna let him out for now. Let's see what happens if I just let him let him fly free. He wants to go back to where he found the blue key. He has nostalgia for blue key territory. So I need to use this block to destroy... Or maybe... Oh, okay, maybe he can use it. Okay, come here. Come here, you. There you go. That's good. Okay, now come down here. Do my bidding, Roomba Vacuum. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Okay, and everything's cleared out. I can go down in here now. Okay, very good. Next part of the puzzle. What is it? What happens now? Okay, the ant died. That's nice. Okay, so if I go through here... Okay, if I make that loop-de-loop -loop up there... Looks like I get myself caught, so I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is... What does the helmet do? It's been a while since I've seen the helmet. Does that protect me from... What does that do? I might actually have to look that up. What does the helmet do? Let's see. Okay, so we got this. So if I go down... Alright, I'm gonna push this onto here. Because what that should do is I can now go down onto here, bonk myself on that, and then it takes me back the other way, so I can get these nice little... We can collect the uh, home version of Chip's Challenge, too. That's nice. So now... Uh, okay, yeah. So now it'll just take us out of here. Okay, so let's go. Let's be careful for now, okay? Alright, so we have to get back to the exit, which is up here. It's up here somewhere. Oh, but we made it invisible! We made an invisible block. Well, not to worry. I think we can uh, bomb our way through there. That's what the bomb is for, after all. So we got to get up into. We got to get up into here. And how do we do that? Does the helmet 
Does the helmet like protect you from enemies? Is this what I needed all along to get into this little this little hidey hole? It is, yeah. Okay, so now without the helmet, okay, with with the helmet rather, the day is saved, thanks to the Powerpuff Girls who found the alloys that made the helmet that keep you from getting concussion traumas from balls bouncing back and forth. What a weird level. There were some tricks there that uh, <laughs> I wasn't too sure about.